7 the quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where b and c are positive integers has a discriminant of 16 and b minus c is equal to negative 4 so when we mention discriminant that means b square minus 4ac so discriminant is equal to 16 and then it mentioned that b minus c is equal to negative 4 find the possible values of b and c so the equation that we have here is x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so you see here and from here we can see that a is equal to 1 b is equal to so this one is not really b this one but this this one is from the discriminant that we wanted to take b is b and then c is c b square minus 4 ac is equal to 16 our b here is b minus 4 our a is 1 and our c is c b square is b square negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times c is negative 4 c is equal to 16 so basically here we have one equation and here we have one e another e Equation. So we can do simultaneous equations since we have two unknowns. So it will be easier if from this one we get C and substitute C inside here. So here from 1, B minus C is equal to negative 4. If I want C, right? So we have to change place. Negative C will enter this territory and become positive. Negative 4 will enter uh, other territory and become positive. So at this side, we have B here. When negative 4 enters, negative 4 become positive 4. So we have the third equation, C. We can substitute inside here. Okay. So we see here. So we substitute 3 into 2. So 3, we have this one and 2, we have this one, right? B square minus 4C is equal to 16. B square minus 4C is B plus 4 is equal to 16. So we expand ne negative 4 times B, negative 4B, negative 4 times 4, we get negative 16 is equal to 16. So being at one side, B square minus 4B minus 16 minus 16 is equal to 0 b square minus 4b minus 32 is equal to 0 from here on you can do factorization so here we can do factorization so you can either use calculator or you can do cross multiply manually either one so from me here you see 32 is actually 8 times 4 Right. This is the only way to get negative 4 here because this one is 1 times 1. 8 times 4, this one is negative. That means uh, uh, this one times this one, either one must be negative. And to get negative 4, it must be negative. Negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. So here, B minus 8 and B plus 4 is equal to 0. B is equal to 8 or b is equal to negative 4 but the question mentioned that the value of b and c are positive integers so that means b is equal to a okay just now we get b is equal to a so from from 3 c is equal to b plus 4 b is equal to a plus 4 so here we get c is equal to 12 the possible values of b and c so here this b is equal to a and c is equal to 12 corresponding roots of the equation so basically if we get the value of x this is the roots we have x square this one is integration and we already get our b and c so b is equal to 8 this one x square plus 8x 
c is 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. So basically we can factorize it. So this one is to get 8 is basically 6 times 2. This one is positive. So this one is both positive. You can directly use calculator to get this value. So this one would be x plus 6. x plus 2 is equal to 0. x plus 6 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 6. And this one x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 2. So corresponding roots of the equation is x is equal to negative 6 and x is equal to negative 2. So to use calculator, depending on what calculator you are using, for me, I'm using this one, so I just press alpha A and then this is polynomial, the degree is 2. So this one just substitute this one x square so that means in front of x is 1 so my b is 8 and my c is 12 okay so i got uh, so i get this this one is negative 2 this one the n negative 2 if we get negative we know that when we sub when we enters in the factorization this one it will become positive this one negative this one we get positive negative 2 and negative 6 okay 